Hey everyone, uh, so I just bought a used but very clean 2017 Husqvarna TX300. Uh, one issue I found with it though was that the steering damper was leaking. And I don't know who makes it based on the research I've done on Google and the internet. Uh, I can't find out who makes it. It looks like a GPR, but I'm not for sure and I haven't taken it off yet to uh, see. And I uh, haven't been able to find any videos of anybody rebuilding this particular model, either the Husqvarna or KTM branded steering damper or stabilizers, whichever you want to call it. So I'm going to do it here and post it. Maybe it'll help somebody. Uh, as you can see, it's an underbar mount. And here, this screw is actually supposed to be a press fit pin. Uh, but I noticed it was binding up and then I noticed the uh, oil was leaking here on the swing arm. So I'm gonna do it and post it, maybe to help somebody. Uh, I'll get back with you here in just a second. So the first thing I did was uh, take this uh, screw pin out here. And as you can see, the resistance setting is on the highest on number seven and it's just, there's no, absolutely no, uh, dampening or stabilizing effect here at all whatsoever so i'm going to remove these two bolts hopefully the unit will slide out down out of the mount i'm going to do that off camera be back in just a second all right so i got the unit off uh brought it over here to the workbench it was really dirty so i blew it off with some compressed air uh Those screws that I saw on other ones that were on the back side, they're not here. And it looks before I can take this uh, top plate off by taking these screws out, I gotta take the snap ring off of this knob and see if it'll come out. came right out it's got two o-ring rubber o-rings on there it looks like there's actually maybe a no that's for the snap ring so now i can take all of these screws out and i'm gonna have to look for the right uh, allen head wrench for that i'll be back in just a second all right, so I found the right uh, Allen head wrench. I noticed a couple of these screws were already pretty loose. There's two of them over here. I couldn't exactly identify the, the source of where the oil was coming from. So I'm going to take all these screws out. I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I got all those screws out. I haven't opened it up yet. Let's take a look. Kind of what I thought it'd look like inside. It is dry as a bone. There's absolutely no oil in there whatsoever. And it has an O-ring that goes around the main looking reservoir. I can see how it works. It pushes the fluid into orifices on each side, uh, in the in the main housing on each side of this swing arm. Pushes the fluid through the, the valve control. There's some holes inside here. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera or not, but uh, my bet is that the one is dirty on the inside. I can see a little crud. But I bet the uh, O-rings on this valve knob are bad. I'll replace those. I don't know if I'm going to have the right size. Uh, O-ring for this. Let me pull it out and see. I don't know, I might have one that size. 
I'll take a look. Take these O rings off. There's not any other O rings that I see. damage these but I don't think I might have a whole lot of choice here. Alright, so what I'll do off camera I'll uh, take some brake cleaner spray in here clean all that stuff out get it nice and clean same thing with the main cover I did notice there is these two whatever these are that's probably how you fill it but I don't know how uh, I'll have to see if I can figure that out and see what I can uh, do as far as re when I go to refill it I'll be back in a minute. So I did a little work off camera. So cleaned it up. The swing arm was down in there, just like that. The interior part of the arm, and then here's the exterior. I had a drive pin punch. Uh, I mean, sorry, a drive pin. Just holding it in. I took a drive pin punched, uh, punch and knocked it out, partially out enough to where I could get the exterior part of the arm off. And then push the interior part of the arm out, which reveals a O-ring down here on the inside. Let's see if I can get it out. Because I'm sure that's probably the source of the leak. size so I'm gonna go through my parts and see if I can find the right size o-rings for this thing clean it up some more and uh, come back all right so here's what I found out uh, I was able to find I believe the right same the uh, same size o-rings that go around this uh, dial selector uh, and then I was able to find one I believe that will go around this shaft here on the internal swing arm uh, with this big one that goes around that seals the main cavity or a tank there in the in the bottom part I uh, couldn't find it so I'm gonna reuse it I don't think it was leaking from it anyway another thing uh, Whatever these types of fittings are here, they go through front and back, or inside and outside, but I cannot get those to come out or figure out how they come out. So what I'm going to do, since uh, they're not threaded or screwed anyway, I'm going to drill it out and tap it and put a screw in there. It's pretty thick. I may have to shave off a little bit of the end of this screw. But I figure that will allow me to at least seal it. So off camera, I'll uh, replace the O-rings on the shafts and whatnot later. But off camera, I'm going to go drill and tap these holes, take whatever those fittings are out of there. I'll be back. All right, so here's what I decided to do. Uh, I was initially going to knock out these this bottom pin here that I'm pointing at, uh, but I couldn't figure out how to uh, knock them in or out, press them in or out uh, from either inwards or outwards. So I drilled and tapped two new holes. I'm going to put these uh, screws in there, and that'll be how I fill and bleed the unit uh, once I get it all back together. But uh, also the O-ring that went in. Uh, inside the main body that seals the uh, seals it up between this outer arm and inner arm 
It took me a while to get the uh, O-ring to fit. The only one I could find at the auto parts store was slightly too big. And it took me a little while and I actually sheared off some of the O-ring. I'm hoping uh, that won't be an issue, but I don't know. We'll see. I've got the originals. I had to use the original big one here that goes around the main, uh, the main tank because I couldn't find one at all just like that size. So off camera what I'm going to do is uh, put the outer cap back on, uh, torque those all those little screws down, install the adjuster knob up there I put the uh, o-rings on it and then I will fill it up. I've got uh, a syringe here with some Maxima five weight fork fork oil that I had uh, extra laid uh, left over from a previous shock rebuild or a fork rebuild so I'll put it all back together off camera and then I'll come back and fill it up and show you how I bleed it all right so put the uh, top cover back on had used the original o-ring because I couldn't find a new one I tried using these uh, new o-rings that I found at the auto parts store for the selector knob but it uh, they wound up being too fat as well I couldn't even get it into their body so I had to reuse the old ones I've got it all put back together I got one of my screws with a rubber uh, washer in there this will be the fill hole fixing the fillet and bleed it let's see how it goes This syringe is uh, smaller than the hole, so it's allowing air to escape as I inject the fork oil in. There's a little bit coming out there. This is going to be a messy job. Kids are in the background playing hide and go seek. Definitely feel some in there. I got more than I need, but while I'm doing this, I'm sweeping that uh, outer swing arm back and forth. I'm uh, keeping this hole that I'm putting the fluid in higher than any other part of the stabilizer. an air pocket as I was sweeping it back that last time. There's another air bubble. There's a couple more. When people talk about this being a pain in the butt, I, I 
assume this is what they mean, doing the bleeding part. Alright, when I'm done bleeding, I'll come back. There we go. <laughs> My hands are covered in oil. I can't turn that camera off. Alright, so I have finished uh, putting it all back together, bleeding it. I left this screw hole open, injected it, uh, the oil in with the syringe. Uh, it's actually a turkey baster, but uh, with a syringe uh, until I had swept these, the exterior swing arm back and forth until I didn't see any more air bubbles come up and then kept going actually for a little bit longer just for good measure. Uh, put the bolt in the hole. I wiped everything down real good. It seems to be uh, not leaking. So only time will tell for sure with that. Uh, I will say this, the uh, fluid that I used, the oil that I used, may be too light. I used a Maxima 5 weight fork oil and I can sweep it back and forth by hand pretty easy. Even on the uh, heaviest setting it's pretty easy. The other steering damper I was, dampers I've had in the past uh, didn't sweep this easy by hand so next go around I'll probably find some 10 weight or 20 weight uh, something heavier and I'm gonna go uh, put it on the bike uh, I'm not gonna show that because that's pretty self-explanatory it's just these two bolts and then the the one bolt or push pin that uh, attaches to the exterior swing arm so I'll let you know how it goes uh, hopefully this helps somebody out and also, by the way, that I didn't find any brand markings on this whatsoever other than the Husqvarna engraving. So, anyway, y'all have good luck. Alright, one quick last video. So, I've got it all back together. Uh, put the two main mounting bolts in on the mounting bracket. Put the uh, bolt, which is supposed to be the push pin in that swings the exterior arm I uh, got it all back together and sweeping it back and you know the handlebars back and forth it's on its highest resistance setting right now and it's super easy so definitely we'll have to use some uh, heavier weight oil in the future but I have it back together now and uh, I'm not gonna take it back apart because I don't even have any oil at the you know at the moment anyway so uh, I'll check and see if it leaks anymore. If it does, then I'll probably have to hunt around for the O-rings that I'll need for this selector knob shaft and for the uh, the swing uh, swing arm shafts and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll let y'all know if it leaks and uh, if I rebuild it again, I'll post another video and add to it. Uh, hopefully, it has a higher resistance. But anyway, good luck, y'all. Thanks for watching.